Okay, now this is about tweaking and tuning the carb, and I'm going to start off with uh, trying to adjust the power valve on this. So here's what I'm going to do, and <clears throat> here's what I recommend doing. And <clears throat> you want to adjust the the height of the power valve, and this way. And so let me just start with making an adjustment here and a measurement here. Lay the jet, lay, lay the jet and the needle down on the table and butt this end of the needle up against the back end of your vernier <clears throat> and then lay the lay the needle in such a way I don't know if this is going to zoom in enough for you but there is a step on this needle right here so this is basically a two step needle this is the barrel okay and this is the step right here it's the first step, it's the fat end, and there's another step on the back end. Now this is a little bit tapered. So what I'm going to do is, is I want to see about 20 thousandths, and you can just eyeball this, about 20 thousandths, you just want to see this step above the top of the jet. And you want to see a little bit of that taper beneath it. So we're going to hold that like that, flush, hold it in place. I'm going to push the jet in. Okay, and I can just see, it's probably a little bit more than 20 thousandths, but there's a lot of room there. Let's see if we can get in even closer. See? And now as I hold this against the vernier and adjust the jet and tighten the jet up, you can see just a little bit. All right, now, and then record that measurement. So let me back up. Okay, and readjust for the carb. So <clears throat> let's take a look and see what I got. Okay. So I have one inch and ninety roughly ninety let's see, thirty, thirty five, thirty six thousandths. Thirty six to thirty seven thousandths. So now <clears throat> Okay, so this is a jet that I had laying around. So now I'm going to do is explain the next step. So this is the adjustment. And on these carbs, they have a pin there. So that's going to adjust uh, the amount that it goes down. So imagine that, and we're going to set this up right now. So let me put this in. I took the float out for this adjustment. Now I have number 74 jets in there and these are the lightest uh, this is the lightest needles I could find in a two-step that I have in my inventory at least <clears throat> and they're pretty small so let me just put this back in if I don't make a fool of myself trying to do it it's not always easy it should be tight okay so we just need it in there enough okay so now <clears throat> I'm going to lock my vernia And let me make sure that I am getting the shot. Okay, I'm going to lock my vernier. And I need to try to uh, move the carb for both the camera and so that I can see what I'm doing. So let me see if that looks in the camera or not. Yeah. Not too bad. I'll bring this up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to raise the adjustment. I'm going to lay the bottom against the jet. And I'm going to raise this adjustment until until that needle hits. So I got a ways to go. I can see it here. So actually, I might even be able to do it if I turn the carburetor again one more time. I can't see the camera and this at the same time, but if I push this down there, I've locked the vernier, and I can see that there is quite a bit to go. See how it's now it's stopping against the vernier, okay? So we want to adjust it until it stops against the stop and not the vernier. 
see? So it stopped against the vernier. So now I'm going to back this out. <coughs> I'm going to try two turns and see what that does. So now when she sucks down, she should be at that height. So if I misspoke, I'm going to re-explain. It's almost there. So when it, as it sucks down, it should be at that height. So that's its seated height when it's down. So we got to come up quite a bit. Let's bring it up. Another two turns. And if you're having a problem with it, then you probably have a wrong combination. But this is also a good way to make sure that you're not uh, you're not in the wrong right, the wrong set of the combinations. So we're we're real close now. See how it's without me moving it, it's like right there. I like that. It's just holding it. In fact, I can go down a little bit just to verify. We're going to come back a turn. Down a turn. And check it again. See, it comes up just a little bit. And we're going to come back out just to verify. Let's go a turn again. Not bad. And we're going to come half a turn back. That's it. Now, we rest it on there. Not easy. Wear glasses, I suppose. Yeah, and I could just about feel it. So she could actually go down a little bit more, but we're going to leave it there. So now I've already drilled the air horn, <coughs> the top of the air horn, which I'll show you in this. So I've drilled the top of the air horn for a plug which you see there. So if I, I can go back in and make an adjustment. But what this is telling me is that that as vacuum sucks it down it does not go so far into the jet as to cover over the entire step okay up to the barrel of the uh, of the needle. <clears throat> so what most people do is keep turning this out and what that's just doing is it's untrouting the jet more and more and more and you're getting into past the second step, the fat step, into the, into the, small, um, the smaller step which is going to allow more fuel. So the fatter step is less fuel, it's leaner. You want the fat into the jet, okay? So when vacuum is high, uh, as it idle, okay, you want this barrel in there and this is really going to screw up a lot of things because if you if you if you don't get it right what's going to happen is is you're going to throw off all your other settings your idle is going to be too fat you're not going to know why the carburetor is so fat why is it just plugs are fouling 
you have to make sure that this is going to work <clears throat> and it's going to if you don't have the right jet size and the right rod to jet relationship uh, well then you're you're just it's not going to run right it's either going to be too lean or too rich uh, but whatever, whatever jets or rods you stick in there, you want to know what, how far down this assembly is going. Because at idle, think of it this way, idle is running, so you'd say, in my case, I have just a smidge over 15 inches of mercury at idle. So I use the black spring, and that's around, pulls in at around 12. So <clears throat> close to stock, and I'm close to stock with a very uh, mild performance cam. So what's happening is, is that idle, okay, that's going to suck down. And if the vacuum is enough, it should suck down under the, under, you know, bypassing the sp strength of the spring. When I womp, when I womp on it, okay, vacuum disappears and it's going to lift up, okay. So when it lifts up, you just have the small portion of the jet in there, and you can look in there with a magnifying glass or whatever. There is no adjustment for height. Okay, it's depth. So this is the stock height. So that's what you got to live with. You're pulling up into the, and you want to make sure that you can see that the small end of the needles are in there. <clears throat> it's it's under high vacuum. How far does it go down? And you do want to make sure that you're getting the fat part of the jet of the needle into the jet. <clears throat> what I did with mine is I opened up the jets a little bit. I went to number 74. It was at 70. I'm up to 74 now, because as I go to hit the power womp on the throttle it was sagging it was uh, there was a delay and a bit of a bog and that because it was so lean I'm so lean at idle right now because of the mods I've made to the idle circuit that uh, <clears throat> is an issue with transition so I went up in jet size so I'm going to record I'm going to take this back off and I'm going to record both the, the distance and I'm going to record the um, uh, the number of turns and I'm also going to record um, the jet length, is, uh, the rod length as well. So I have all that information so when I go to build another carburetor for example or mod this one I know where I'm at and I can just turn this number in there as many turn, uh, the number of turns that it's in right now. Now I can back this out, this screw out a little bit more just to be on the safe side so that I know that I'm not sinking too far in and I can do that. I can, after I record it I'm going to take, take a look and see where I am and I'll probably back it out just a little bit more just to make sure that uh, that the rod is lifting up the appropriate amount and it's going in the appropriate amount. I know I want to know that it's going in the appropriate amount then I more than I want to know that it's going up. Um, what some people do and what can even happen to me is is that you wind up adjusting this up and up and up and up and all that's really doing is unshrouding the needle. Uh, it's really masking over uh, the problem in the power circuit. If you have to pull this all the way up to the point where the threads are gone, uh, one, you're not going to have proper control over the circuit, and two, it's because your jets are wrong and, right, and your, your jets and your needle relationship is wrong. Really, all this is for, it's not like a main adjustment um, to tweak the engine, or the carburetor, rather. It's to set the height, and I have to be really adamant about that. It's to set the height that's really all it's there for. It's, it's a way of making an adjustment both in the field and otherwise to set the height, the depth, or rather the depth of this going in. It's really for nothing else. And yes, you can maybe go a turn or two here or there uh, to make some adjustments, but really if you have to go more than this baseline adjustment than maybe a turn, uh, you've got a, a, an issue with the combination of the rod and the uh, the, the jet. So I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to show you guys some of the more steps that I'm going to go through here uh, and a few more things in terms of relationship. I'll be right back. Please like and share and uh, you know sign up. Definitely uh, help me out. <clears throat> I'd like to keep bringing these videos to you guys. I'll be back in a bit.